I, I think just kind of in between abstraction and representation. I guess I was thinking about mortality and you know the short lives we have. Her work, I want to say, is looking inside the body and being able to translate it through the use of computer and technology. Jennifer is one of the most forward-looking artists working in this kind of video projection. It's beautiful. She's as comfortable with technology as a painter with a brush, as if she was doing it since she was a small kid. In 1982, I took a class called Video Art at Caltech, and they showed structuralist film and early computer animation, and I knew I had to do it. I saw things that I'd never seen before, and potential, and I still feel that way. You get lost in looking at the images. You lose your sense of time. You lose a sense of the space that you're in because you enter the picture plane absolutely, literally. It surrounds you, and it's very exciting. I'm not really used to art that makes me feel so peaceful. It moves in and out of your brain like sort of like dancing worms. I called it premature because it brings up all kinds of connotations for people. Their death or birth or ejaculation or, you know, whatever you prefer. <laughs> it's very beautiful and otherworldly. It's simultaneously super organic but also profoundly inorganic because it's video work. So there's that marvelous uh, tension uh, between the natural and the artificial. She's totally alone. Only she does what she does, and only she can do that. It's so human and so whimsical, and yet so totally on the front edge, both technologically and intellectually.